Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight in the winter wonderland that's behind me. You might not be able to see it because that snow is so bright, <laughs> but it is packed with snow out there, tons and tons of it. <laughs> So this is your weekly energy foresight for December 27th through January 2nd. You have made it to the end of 2021. Thank goodness. <laughs> and for this month, we have been using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, and that is by Minerva Siegel, and the artwork is by Abigail Lawson. And the card that came through this week is the four of needles or the four of swords and the message from the four of needles is the holidays aren't quite over yet but this card is telling you to stop and rest put a pause on the entertaining and focus on self at this time we've got venus in retrograde until mid-january and this can cause some upheaval in the relationship area so being rested and calm can go a long way to keeping everything on the home, business, job, and friend fronts even keel. Letting go of old things, whether it is physical stuff or just mental baggage, is an awesome way to let go of 2021. Thank goodness. And prepare for a truly monumental 2022. Old things sign 2021. <laughs> So for this week, we are being asked to kind of take ourselves away from that festive spirit, from that really hectic life, and really focus in on self. Maybe you're needing some self-care and self-love at this time and really needing to kind of be a little more low-key that's okay. The past few weeks have been nothing but go, 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 it feels like. Now we're being asked to kind of really prepare for 2022 and truly releasing all of that old stuff of 2021. It's been a heck of a year, let me tell you. It really has. So many things have happened in 2021. It just feels like a whole lifetime in one year. I know 2020 felt kind of the same way, but this one was on a different scale. It truly was. And it seems like we're ending 2021 in the same fashion, just very busy and hectic. But right now going within, letting yourself be pampered just a little bit, truly focusing in on releasing and letting go, maybe all of those old goals, dreams, wishes, and desires that didn't come to pass that Maybe you lost interest in, or just they weren't something that you were really passionate about. It's okay to let those things go. We have to let those things go and make space for the new things that you truly want to create, that you want to envision, and that you want to make manifest in 2022. <clears throat> if there's no space in order to create these things that we want to see, do, or have, then they're not going to come into our physical reality because there's no space for them to be there. We have to let go of those old things, let them go, let them be, let them transform back into the love in which they originated from. And that way, the space that you make available is truly one of love and joy and happiness. And that will help create those things easily and more effortless in your life the universe is listening. So let's prepare on point, on purpose, those things that truly make our heart sing. All right, for midweek, and that is the 27th through the 30th or Monday through Thursday, the cards that we'll be working with are the Archangel Michael cards, and these are by Hay House. These cards go along with the angel theme that I've kind of went with throughout December. And with Archangel Michael, I feel like that presence is really needed going into January of 2022. Just that powerful, very focused energy for midweek. 
the card that came through for midweek, which is the 27th through the 30th, Monday through Thursday, the card is eternal love. And it says, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. This is a great card <clears throat> to go along with this four of needles, the idea of rest and rejuvenation and really giving yourself the love, care, acceptance that is needed at this time. Give yourself that self-care, that self-love, that ability to be at peace and release those things that no longer serve you so that you make space for that eternal love to show forth and be able to allow you to receive those things that you truly desire. That's what's being asked of you by Archangel Michael and your spirit team. Open up to receiving that eternal love. Eternal love can come from many different sources. So instead of putting blinders on and just being more um, focused on where it has to come from, what it has to look like when it comes, be more open and realize that eternal love comes from all sources. You can receive it in many different ways, whether that's abundance or relationships or money, whatever that is for you or creativity, whatever that is that you're trying to manifest, receive it with that same eternal or divine love in which it originates from. And that is for your midweek. For end week, which is December 30th through January 2nd, that's Thursday through Sunday. The card that came through is keep your eyes on your targeted intention. And the prayer for this card is thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. How amazing is this? We are really looking at creation, creating the space in order to release all of those old goals, dreams, wishes, and desires that no longer serve us, making space so that we can realize our dreams, our intentions, especially for the new year for 2022. Maybe your intentions go further than that, but looking at 2022 and some goals that we might be able to take some baby steps in order to reach maybe a bigger goal. This is how we do it. We really need to focus our intention. And with the help of Archangel Michael, he is bringing forth all of those things that we are needing at this time. And so just grab onto his hand, listen to your spirit team, and really go forward this week, giving yourself that space and time in order to release and let go so that you can receive that beautiful blessings that are truly yours right now. So a card actually kept popping up and um, I, it's not that I put it back, but I noticed there's a spot on this card and I noticed that the same card was like showing itself. Um, and I haven't taken it out of the deck because I leave it there on purpose. And for reasons such as this time, it was interesting to me. So the third card for this week, and I'm going to say this card is for all week. It's spend more time outdoors. And the prayer says, thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. Now, for me, this card is beautiful. Even though we have tons of snow, I still have to get out. Ayla has to go to the bathroom outside and I go out to feed the birds and put some water out and things like that. So I'm outside. And the thing I really realize, especially when it's snowing, is there's such a peace about nature. There's such a beautiful connection that happens. So your releasing and letting go, your inspiration may lie with visiting Archangel Michael or your spirit or totem animals or just all of nature 
at this time, in this week. This may be your ability to uh, truly hone in your meditation skills, walking meditation, um, or just even going within a little bit easier. Maybe that is your self-care or your self-love time is being outdoor and outdoors in nature. Don't take this lightly. Realize that being outside puts you in a different dynamic. It puts you in a different space. And sometimes it's easier for us when we're outside of our homes to release things, to let go of things. And your angels and your totem and spirit animals are there to help guide and guard you at that time as well. They're there to help take that stuff and just let it be transmuted back into that divine love state. So just know outdoors may be a special place for you right now. So feel free to get out as much as you can and enjoy the peace and quiet and the tranquility of that space. All right, everyone, I look forward to seeing you again in the new year. I hope you enjoy your holiday weekend, your new year. Start off with such beautiful blessings and allow yourself that peace and serenity of self-care and self-love. Rest, relax, and rejuvenate. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And just a reminder, on January 6th, next week, I will be going live on YouTube, and we will be doing the fifth annual yearly tarot planning party. So if you would like to see what your new year is going to be like each month, feel free to join me on the 6th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. As a bonus, you can actually click on the link below or the picture or look in my bio for the link and it will take you so that you can download your yearly tarot planning party workbook. All of the months of 2022 that you can start your planning, pick your cards and write those in. So I hope to see you on Monday and on Thursday the 6th at 10 a.m. live. As always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.